Whenever I think of Valentine's Day, I think of chocolate. Chocolate cookies, candies, cupcakes, souffles. But how about a chocolate martini? I'm Sugar, and you're watching Cooking with Sugar TV. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a beautiful chocolate martini. You could serve it before dinner or after dinner, and it's really super simple to even make for parties. Today's recipe is for my viewers who are 21 and over, but if you want to make this a virgin cocktail, you could just leave out the vodka. Here are the ingredients we're going to need to make this martini. You're going to need some chocolate wafer cookies, some chocolate syrup, I like to use some chocolate vodka, this is the whipped vodka, and some chocolate milk. You're also going to need a martini shaker and a martini glass. And that's it. We're going to be using the cookies to put around the rim of the glass. So before we do that, we have to break them. And the easiest way to do that is to just do it in a little Ziploc bag with a hammer. Using the Ziploc bag just helps you prevent the cookies from flying all over the place when you break them. Now I'm going to take these cookie crumbs and just put them on my plate. And I'm going to just drizzle those all around the plate because this is going to coat my glass. Once you have your cookies chopped and placed in your plate, then you're gonna do the syrup in another plate. And you're just gonna to wanna to trim right around the plate like that with the syrup. Now you're gonna take your martini glass and you're gonna dip it in the syrup first. Make sure you twirl it all around like that. You see that? And then we're gonna dip it into the crumbs and that's gonna help us pick up all those crumbs. And you can make these ahead of time and put them in the freezer if you're having them for a party. If you're just making one or two, you could just make it right on the fly. And you see how beautiful that looks? Now I'm gonna take the syrup and I'm gonna drizzle it inside the glass and I'm just gonna turn the glass as I do that. See how pretty that is? It almost looks like stained glass and that's ready for our martini. Now my glass is beautiful, so it's time to make the cocktail. We're gonna start by taking a shaker full of ice, and then we're gonna add two ounces of the chocolate whipped vodka and two ounces of the chocolate milk. And that's it. Shake it up over ice, pour it in that beautiful glass, and you have yourself a super delicious chocolate martini. Here is my vodka. Let's do the chocolate milk. Give it a good shake. This can be a little messy. Get my napkin here. Okay. This is gonna be so, so yummy. Ice cold, chocolatey, beautiful. It's perfect for Valentine's Day. Let's take a taste. Mm. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Wait till you try this. That chocolate whipped vodka is good by itself. Mix it with the chocolate milk and the yummy cookies. You can't go wrong. For more recipes like this, be sure to log on to my website at cookingwithsugar.com. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, be sure to subscribe. Oh, and make sure you share me on Facebook and be sure to pin this recipe because I know people are gonna love it. So I hope all of you have a wonderful Valentine's Day and I just want you to know I love all of you and I appreciate your feedback and your support. Um, if it wasn't for your support, I wouldn't be doing any of these videos. So have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Cheers. I don't know what to do with myself because I don't know if I'm like, what, where am I? It's always 5 o'clock somewhere.
Fear the ingredients? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it.